Hey guys, it's Dana and it's Tuesday, so we're going to talk about money. And today I wanted to talk about tricks that retailers use to get you to spend more money, a lot more money. All right, so Christmas is almost here, but don't panic. You don't wanna fall into the Christmas stupid zone of impulse spending and blowing your budget just a few days before Christmas. I think statistically like seven days before Christmas is when people go out and just go mad, they go crazy, and they spend a lot more money than they really mean to. And retailers make about 30% of their retail sales are over the Christmas season. So they are really working hard to get you to buy. And they're really good at it. They spend a lot of money trying to figure out how you think, where you're going, and what will make you buy things. And Martin Lindstrom, a marketing consultant, wrote a book and it is called Brainwashed, or Brandwashed, sorry, Brandwashed, clever. Tricks companies use to manipulate our minds and persuade us to buy. And so in this book, he says, rule number one, don't bring your kids with you. He says, if you shop with your kids, you're gonna spend 29% more than you budgeted. If you shop with your partner, you're going to spend 19% more than planned. And don't use a shopping cart. I've always said this, I think, in my Black Friday shopping. You don't use a shopping cart because it slows you down, but obviously there's another reason why you shouldn't use a shopping cart because you're gonna add more stuff into your cart than you would to a little basket that you're carrying. And you'll spend 8% less if you don't use a shopping cart. That's pretty good. And then number four, Martin says, is to carry $100 bills because you're less likely to break bigger notes. Um, yeah, that's true, I believe that. Although I don't feel comfortable carrying around $100 bills. I've actually never done that. But to me, a $20 bill is a big bill and I don't wanna break it. <laughs> so I am more careful with my 20s than I am with my fives. All right, so shop with friends, I guess, not with your partner or your kids. All right, so let's do the seven tricks that I have on my list here. Seven tricks, maybe you fell for a few of them. Number one is the one that I can't stand. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm from the Philadelphia area, East Coaster, I don't know, but when the sales clerk or the checkout person tries to become your best friend, I get really irritated when I'm buying something and the person behind the register is commenting on it because I think it's fake. I feel like they're they're told to do this. Like, oh, oh, I love those peanuts. Those are the best ever. Or, oh, oh, I love that album. Or I love that book. You know, I just feel like they all say that and I don't believe it. When they when I say that they love the item I'm purchasing, I, I just, I, I don't know, I'm not a fan. It really irks me. I don't want any comments being made about what I'm buying. But supposedly this is actually a, a legit tactic that they use where they try to become your best friend because if you feel like you're connecting with the person or you feel like they're you know your long lost friend then you will buy more and um, they've proven that so they're working hard to make you feel like they're your friend all right number two is that they pump smells good smells into their store. They might make the store smell like gingerbread cookies around the holidays or um, pine needles or something that will make you feel um, like buying, like shopping, purchasing more because it's helping to remind you that it's the holiday season and maybe you you know have a habit of shopping heavily over the holidays. Uh, it just makes you feel good. So they're pumping good smells into the store around the holidays to make you really feel that holiday spirit and to shop more, shop longer, and to just be comfortable, relaxed, and purchase, purchase, purchase. Along those same lines is that they play soothing music. I'm sure they've done a whole slew of studies about this, but classical music is something you hear a lot, or Christmas music specifically, because that will make you feel nostalgic about the holidays and you're more likely to buy and spend more. Number four is that they jack up the prices right before the holiday season so that they can drop them. And then you'll feel good like you're making, you know, a really good deal or you're getting a good bargain. But really they just raise the prices right before the holidays so they can say it's 50% off, but that is a trick that they do. So if you really followed the store and followed their sales, you'd probably see that they have the same sale at another time of year and that the prices do drop down to that at another time. It's not just Christmas. 
Next is that they provide seating. <laughs> they give couches, chairs, places for you to sit and stay a while. I've heard some stores even hand out food, beverages, something to help you to stay in the store because chances are the longer you're in that store, then you're more likely to find something that you might want. Uh, I know that's true for me. The longer I'm sitting around looking at stuff, you're just, you're gonna find something that you wanna buy. So they wanna keep you there. So they're providing nice places for you to sit and lounge. And in those same areas, the layout usually is arranged in such a way that there will be items around those seats for you to want to buy. You know, grab items that, you know, you can just throw in, the, in your cart or basket and take with you. Email marketing, right? Emailed deals. I'm getting just bombarded with, stuff. if I order anything from anywhere or I did in the past, I'm on this email list, I guess. And so I'm getting tons of emails and I'm trying to unsubscribe here and there, but I'm getting all these emails of deal of the day, you know, the lowest price ever, you know, this is the best gift ever, you gotta get this, don't miss your chance. And there's just tons of emails coming my way of things. And some of them I have clicked and I may have purchased. So um, it's working. I mean, they're smart, they are so smart. Um, but um, emails, don't look in your email if, if, you have, if you're on any of these lists, if you ever bought anything, because you're gonna be getting emails about special deals and it just makes it, I mean, they're trying to get you, make it look, it's easy to buy, easier to buy now than ever with online shopping. And so it's just a click away. And then they, a lot of times they have your credit card stored on file. So you just click, 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 and you've ordered another thing that you just had to have this holiday season for whoever, right? Okay, so that is it. Don't fall prey to the panic. Don't panic, don't get sucked into that Christmas stupid zone where you blow your budget. Um, try to stay calm and stick to your list. Make sure you have a list. And uh, very Merry Christmas to everybody. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. I'm here every single Tuesday talking all about money. We are a family of six that lives in the Philadelphia area and I work in finance and I make videos because I think it's fun. <laughs> and I'm also really hopeful that by putting these videos out there, I'm not only helping to motivate myself, but hoping, helping you guys stay motivated so that you can pay off debt and build wealth and leave a legacy for your family. Okay, all right, you guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.